Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to part nine of the unicorn tutorial. Yay, or Pegasus. So we have pretty much almost finished her. We have wired her up. Hopefully you wired yours. She looks so much better when she's wired, excuse me. Um, and we just need to make and attach her stomach. Um, I recommend that you have fiber fill during this portion of the tutorial as we will be wanting to stuff her. Okay, so we are using our white bands, but if you want to change and make your stomach another color, that is totally up to you. It'd be cool to see it like change in the sun, but I'm going to keep mine white. Okay, so we're going to go all the way down the center with two bands at a time. This part is going to take four, four parts, this portion, stomach. Okay, horizontals, two at a time. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take her her, and, you know, the three bands that are tied off under her chin, we're going to attach them to these three pegs. It doesn't matter if you attach the head right side up or upside down. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to go through those bands. There's a bunch of them. Taking loose bands and just placing them along the edge. I'm just going to stop there and loop them because they tend to fall off, so it might be best to only do a few at a time. the 
this one got messed up. I'm also going to put one on the end here. Okay, same thing on the other side, so again I'm putting loose bands on the side pegs. Okay. Part one of four is done. <laughs> Part one of four. Again, taking the white, going all the way down the middle five rows.
Okay. All right, we are attaching um, these ends to these pegs. Okay, there are five ends. Oops. Make sure you get through that edge band as well here.
Two is done. Now on to part three. I'm gonna go again all the way down the center. Actually needs to be moved up to there. Okay, so put diagonals here and then those going down.
Okay. All right, we are connecting the ends again. Okay, laying the bands down along the edge. Ooh, this horizontal band wasn't all the way on there. We're almost there guys, we got one more small section to do.
Okay. One more section. All right, we're starting on the sixth to seventh peg here. Going all the way down the center. All right. I want to make sure the wristbands aren't all tangled here because uh, it can ruin Okay, take two bands, two white bands, whatever color your stomach is, and just tie off the end here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off all the... I'm going to put my loom aside, and then I'm going to take off all the... black bands on the stomach.
Okay. And just these three now, so all the black tying bands are now gone. Okay. Yay. All right, now we're going to stitch her and stuff her. Make sure all your edge bands are pulled out. The edge, this one's not, so make sure you get them all and tug them outward. All right. So now you're going to take a hook and we are starting by going do, 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 do. turning her head, okay? Going through this set here from the top. So this we're paying attention to the edge sets from the top. Then pulling through the band. Oops. Pushing it down on the hook, then going through the next set. Pulling the band through. So we're going through set by set, not skipping any, only on the edge. Pulling one band through in order, stitching together very similarly to how we stitched the neck and the torso earlier. Don't skip any. Don't skip any bands.
Okay, now this last set here. I'm going to pull one of those tying bands through. Okay. And I'm going to stick my hook through that band to keep it there whilst I get another hook. It figures it's all the way over there. Bird. To do the other side. Now, you can also stick a pencil through if you don't have two hooks. Um, this is the part where we need the fiber fill. As we do the other side, we're going to be stuffing her up. So we're just doing the same thing on the other side. Okay. I know it's hard to see. That's because I can't get her in camera because she's so big right now. But I'm, I'm doing my best. But all you're doing is just the same thing. Stitching like you were stitching the other side. And as you go, take a little bit of the fiber fill and stick it in, but don't overstuff. And then just continue. Okay, again, I'm going to stuff her a little bit. And then I'm going to continue. By the way, this is my stomach attachment technique. If anybody else uses this in their tutorials, they got it from me, and hopefully they gave me credit for it. Because that's not nice when people don't give credit for things. Roar! Especially when they use all of my techniques in their videos and don't m even mention me at all in the video. Okay, before we close it up, we're going to stuff her up a little more. And she's a chunk of hunka. 
That's because she's pregnant and she's going to have a baby. A baby one! Oh, surprise! Yes, there will be a baby. Soon. Eventually. She's a chunky monkey. Okay, here we are going to grab the other tied end and pull it through this side. Alright, so I got two tied ends on one hook. Grab them onto my fingers. And all I'm going to do is just go into the body somewhere, come out through the crotch. Grab, okay, this is a little tricky. Grab both bands, pull them through, and C clip. And push back in. Oh, I have to stuff her a little better. Stuff her a little more. Yeah, I think I have to stuff her a little more. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm kind of just going to open up a hole in the side of her and stuff her just because I don't want to redo all that I just did. I want it to be nice and firm. I'm going to show you what she looks like. Let me just clear off my workspace a little bit so I have room to put her because it's a disaster. Okay. Is your Pegasus unicorn? Aww, she's very cute. Okay, I hope you love yours. I think she's so cute. Um, definitely show me pictures on Facebook and Instagram. See the links in the description for that. Kira and Samara, I hope that you love her. Okay, you can even pose her to rear up. And especially, even if you didn't make a Pegasus, if you made like a horse with like normal horse colors, or like just a unicorn or just a Pegasus, show me pictures. I'd love to see all the varieties um, that you guys have done. Okay, I have to put wire in her tail to have her be able to stand on her legs while she rears up but uh yeah I hope you love her she looks like a Barbie horse uh, your Barbies can ride her <laughs> okay and you can even straighten out her front legs if you want to that's why I recommend always wiring your creations okay there's her curly tail very cute okay her wingspan is about two feet okay well I hope you enjoyed this complex tutorial and um, Oh, I love her. I hope you love yours. All right, show me pictures. See the links in the description. Also visit the Etsy shop. Bye.